Hey, Damon Davis here. Welcome to One on One. It is so good to see you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, yesterday, last week, last time you tuned in, got a question for you. What's changed in your life? Finances, how they doing? Marriage, relationships, how's that going? How about the job? Do we have one? We're trying to get ahead, we're trying to grow, we're trying to break through. That's the topic of today's show, breakthrough. In fact, got a little something special, and it's often this that keeps us from, from moving forward. And it is this that helps us break through. Breakthrough is what sometimes we need. Maybe it's a diagnosis that you received. Maybe you have lost a job or you're facing financial stress and strain and it's wreaking havoc on your mind and your body and your spirit and your relationship. Money problems will wreck your life. Or maybe you spent last night looking at the ceiling desperately lonely. God, please send me somebody. Or when something is going wrong in your child's life, nothing will bring us to our knees faster. These are the times when breakthrough is necessary. And that is why I am so proud and privileged today to introduce you to a friend, a man who has authored books to help people break through. He is a man that has accomplished what in the natural seems impossible. And yet, because he has discovered the power of unlimited thinking, God's thinking. He's here today, Dr. Stan, Dr. Breakthrough, to talk to us about his book, Your Breakthrough is Guaranteed. And he's on a global mission to help people understand how to break through in any area of their life in 21 days. Today is your day one. Help me welcome Dr. Breakthrough to One on One. All righty, hey, hey, hey. Man, <laughs> you still got it. Ten, 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 tenth degree black belt. Is that right? Yes, sir. Well, let's, I By wanna, the grace of God. And a whole lot of work. Whole a whole lot of work. Lot of work. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna kick it off right from there. Sure. Tell me about the, the gift that God has given you, not just in helping people reach breakthrough, but I wanna start right there. What an accomplishment. Tenth degree black belt. One of how many maybe in the world? Well, a hundred. Out of seven billion people, there's a hundred. A hundred. And when I got started in martial arts, I didn't have a clue of what a 10th degree black belt was. Wow. I just know I wanted to protect myself. Yeah. But coming up in, in America, in the time and season that you came up in, I mean, what, what a breakthrough it was for you to be able to, to study and to be respected and to achieve that kind of success. Am I correct? Yes, sir, but it didn't start there. Talk to me about it. Well, here's where it started. If you can imagine a six-year-old boy out in the middle of a field playing, mm. and a gang of teenagers comes his way, and you know your body gives you signals, and, the, and all of a sudden, my, I'm like, something's wrong. And these teenagers grab me, and I'm a six-year-old boy. And the guy hits me in the stomach, bam, knocks the air out. I don't know if you have had the air knocked out. You're like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. you're right. Oh, yeah. And they start beating up. I'm a six-year-old boy. They're teenagers. For no reason, they're just beating all over me. And literally, pick me up, slam me on the ground. And they start stomping on me like I'm an ant or roach, start kicking on me. And I'm bleeding from everywhere you can bleed. I'm crying out for help. Well, Nobody yeah. stops. Yeah. You know? By the time I'm bleeding from everywhere you can bleed, I'm a six-year-old boy. You would think that was enough. That wasn't enough. One guy flipped me over, took a great big old bucket of tar, poured the tar on my face, poured it on my body. They took a bunch of feathers. They threw them on me, and they left me there. You've got to be kidding me. Six-year-old boy. Dear God. What, what were you thinking? If you, can, if you can remember back. What were you thinking? What were you feeling? What was going on in your mind at that moment? The main thing I thought was nobody cares. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I'm crying out for help. And I'm like, I'm just a six-year-old boy. I'm not, I mean, I've done things bad before, but I wouldn't do anything this time, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I'm thinking, no, nobody cares. Sure. But you know what's crazy, though? In my mind, I had a thought. What was it? The thought was, 
I'm going to learn how to protect myself yeah. so this doesn't happen again. Dr. Breakthrough, I want to take that story, and I don't want to hear the rest of the story. I want to hear what happened next, what you did. But let's, let's, let's put a pin on, in that story for a moment and, and draw a parallel to people watching right now that feel like they're in that spot, okay? Mm -hmm. Society or a relationship or an employer or who knows has poured proverbially tar on the, right. them and they are feathered and they feel, what, how do you say it? You felt like you- Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody, cares. Ca nobody cares. Nobody cares. How many people do you face in your ministry, mm. on your journey, you travel all over the world, you speak to thousands of people. How many people do you meet that feel that way? Most of them. Okay. People just need to know that there's some, if it just knew that one person cared, just one person cared, right? Yeah. That would change everything around. Gotcha. You know, I went through verbal abuse and sexual abuse and tried to commit suicide on two occasions. And I tell people I'm glad I failed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are too. Right, right, right. <laughs> but, but, but I had developed in my mind, I'm no good. I'm never going to be anybody, anybody. I'm never going to, why even try? Yeah. Right. And so basically what had happened was, I had embraced this right here. Mm -hmm. Now, right in the middle of the word beliefs is a three-letter word called a lie. Oh, wow. And so whenever there's lies that we believe or believe in, guess what? We're going to live what kind of lifestyle? Very limited. limited. limited when there's yeah. lies we believe in, guess what? What kind of spirit? Everything's going to be limited. Talk to me about so, the lies. Hold on, though. Well, the, the, yes. So what are the lies? The lies of the devil? The lies of society? Give me some examples. Yes. Yes, the lies of you're not good enough. You're okay. not educated enough. Got it. You're not strong enough. You're the wrong color. You're the wrong gender. You're Got the wrong... It. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, you're not educated enough, right? <laughs> lies. Oh. lies. Yeah, all, lies. Not true. Not true. Not what we should be believing. Exactly. D not defining us. No. Doesn't matter where we came from. Doesn't matter how much junk we've got piled on top of us. Those lies are limiting our life and limiting us from getting ahead. Correct. Keep Jeremiah, going. So Jeremiah lies. 7, 8 says, you trust in lying words which cannot profit. Got it. So I like to get people to trust the truth that can only profit you. Got it. But anyway, so, so all this, you know, it didn't matter, but we got lies. And, and the more I study, the more I find there were lies tucked away that I, like I talk about my book here, mm -hmm. that most of our belief system was developed by the time we're 16 or 17, which means most of what we believe, we didn't really believe we picked up from those around us, which if we were in a great environment, we got a great belief system. If yeah. not, yeah. there's a lot of things we got. Sure. So what I do is I like to show people, you know, because again, what we hear, we tend to forget. What we see, we tend to remember. What we experience, we never forget. Can I create an experience Please. for the watched, yeah, those yeah, yeah. viewers yeah, that they'll never forget? Of course. Okay, so this represents the lies that we've been believing in, <laughs> yeah. and this is what we want to break to. We want to get to the unlimited success. Yeah. Now, until I got through this, I never got over here. Got it. And so um, I thought, again, I'm a, I'm a young black man in, you know, in the 60s in the, in the hood, right? Dad left when I was three, never came home, never called, never sent mom a dime. And one day I heard a poem to help set me free. Got it. It said, fleecy locks and black complexion. Cannot forfeit nature's claim. Skin made different, but affection dwells in black and white the same. Were I so tall as to reach the pole or to glance at the ocean at a span, I must be measured by my soul. The mind is the standard of a man. And all of a sudden it dawned on me. It's not the color of my skin, wow. the texture of my hair, the parents or whatever else. It's what I put in here. Absolutely. And that was the first breakthrough. Wow. So I'm going to demonstrate real quick. This is not easy, but I'm telling you it's worth it. And so in the martial arts, by the way, we always yell. People say, what do you guys yell hold for? Hold on, hold on, you, got, oh, you, about, you about to do something. I'm about, I'm about to do something I'm here, back bro. Up. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I like to tell people I'm outside, I'm outside the camp, but inside the camp. Now look, if you, that is real wood, son. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And these are real lies that are keeping people back. Real lies. Yeah. I'm just not good enough. You never, you know, you'll never be good enough. You know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. When I break this physically, I want you to experience a psychological and a spiritual breakthrough. Okay. So now again, the martial arts, we always yell. People say, what do you guys yell you for? You see in this face, right? You see in this face, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh okay? my Lord. All, All right. right. So I'm I need you. you to say, help me out now. And I need all the viewers to say breakthrough time. Okay. <laughs> So everybody, let me hear you say breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Oh, come on, everybody watch me now. Breakthrough, breakthrough time. time. Come on, one more time. Oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> so we just broke the limits right off our beliefs. And that's what this show and that's what my life is all about. Come on now. Mama used to call me hard-headed and I got married. My wife said your mom was right. So be careful what you call your children. What in the <laughs> Okay, I got to take a time out. First of all, you had to believe that you could bust that board. And can I tell you the real story of that? Please. If you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you're done out, you won't. If you'd like to win but think you can, it's almost a sense you won't.
If you think you will lose, you've already lost. For this powerful truth we find, success begins with a person's will, it's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man, but sooner or later those who win are those who first think and then know that they can. And Damon and I, we know you can win. You wow. might not know, but we know. So sometimes you gotta believe in somebody else's belief in you until your own belief kicks in. Come on, somebody. My gosh. <laughs> the, you, the book is, it's about breakthrough. Yes. You just broke through the lie of the enemy for a lot of people watching. And, and you're saying that it doesn't matter, help me out, it doesn't matter what you see. In other words, the size of the bank account, the relationship that, that's struggling, it doesn't matter what the, the devil would, would want you to believe is the evidence of your reality. You're saying that is not your reality. You have to believe something else. Yes, but, by the way. But you wrote a book about just that. Right. Because, why? why? Because believe, because yeah. Emmanuel lives, I experience victory every day. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E -E. -E -E. -E -E. Exactly. Who's Emmanuel? Emmanuel, Christ, the, the Lord. The Emmanuel. The, exactly. My so because God. Emmanuel lives. Because Jesus lives. I experience victory every day. But here's a powerful thing. I used to see people do it and I thought it was impossible. As long as I thought it was impossible, it was for me. And it wasn't until I said, wait a minute, they got trained, they had to believe. And so I, you know what got me into martial arts? Mm. My mother started taking martial arts. Now, remember, I was a six-year-old boy. I got jumped, and I said, this, I'm going to learn how to protect myself. So when I made I'm just a six-year-old boy, but when I made up my mind, watch this. I got a saying in the book. I talk about this. When I make up my mind to do something, God orchestrates circumstances to align themselves in my favor. When I say I can't, my mind stops trying. But when I ask, how can I? My mind keeps searching till it finds a way. Oh, yeah. There is a way, and I will find it, and if not... By the grace of God, I'll invent it. <laughs> See, do, do, you, do, do, do you really live like this? <laughs> well, yes, sir. Because I read, you know, when I was 17, I read a book by Abraham Lincoln. He said, most people are about as happy as they make up their mind to be. And I was like, wait a minute, I got a choice. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> he most, said, most people are about as happy as they make up their mind to be. And oh, I was that's like, good. You mean I got a choice? Well, if that's the case, I choose to be happy even if I'm miserable because I won't be miserable for long. Okay, well, hold on. That's true. <laughs> but that's true because, I mean, how many of us get up in the morning, okay, and we... We uh, see what we see, right. the result of our life, right. and, and that defines us. Mm -hmm. It certainly defines our emotion, right. right? Emotion is designed to move us in a direction. We have emotion, right? But emotion is not supposed to have us. Right. So, so, but we get up in the morning, and we fail to do just what you described. Make a decision Come on. That, in, that in spite of my present reality, Right. Which isn't your reality at all, by right. the way. In spite of my present reality, I choose to be happy. Exactly. How important is that on the step to breakthrough? Well, it is important. It's the, as a matter of fact, it's the first step. Faith, F-A-I-T-H, find answers in the heart. Mm. Faith, forsaking all, I trust him. Mm. See, faith sees the victory, doubt sees a way. <laughs> doubt sees a dreary night, faith sees a day. Doubt dreads to take a step, faith soars on high. Doubt yells out, who believes? And faith yells back, I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? See, see, success comes in cans, failure comes in cans. Matter of fact, I, I feel like I gotta do another demonstration real quick. Come on, somebody. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I saw you pulling out this steel pole. <laughs> Did, <laughs> wait, where do we where do we put that pole? I, think I we saw got, that thing. Yeah, I think I got it. If oh I can stand up here. Oh my gosh. Because see. Now you know I don't have my insurance might not be high enough. <laughs> if you get hurt. Right. Let's just make sure that's real, okay? That's, that's, oh that's my real. gosh. Right. Psalm 1834, blessed be the Lord my strength, which causeth a bow of steel to be broken with my arm. Matter of fact, Psalm 144, 1, David said, blessed be the Lord my strength, which causeth my, finger, my fingers to war, my hands to fight, my fingers to war. So this, again, is a picture. If you get mentorship, see, the key is we got to have people getting mentorship. And this is what happens. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. You got to be. <laughs> There we go. That's. <laughs> Just don't try it with dentures. <laughs> All right. But so you imagine when I go places to preach and I do you, that. You, they're no, like, whatever you say. Preacher. Yeah, you cannot just. You got to. <laughs> look, this might be the craziest one on one show I've ever done. But this might be the most impactful one on one show I've ever done. I mean. By the way, the giant in your front. Your teeth could have popped out. <laughs> 
But by the way, let me say this. The giant in front of some of your viewers is big. But he's a midget compared to the God who's inside of them. No, it's, come on though, but it's huge. Okay, let's get real. I mean, that was real. <laughs> the, the giant is real. I right. mean, is there a giant too big that we can't manipulate like you did this steel? No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. The only thing that prospers is when you accept and you create the own weapon. And that's what those limiting beliefs are. And so the first verse they taught me once I got saved by the grace of God was Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, people you say about, oh, man, you got a great PMA. PMA, what is that? Yeah. Positive mental attitude. I'm like, no, I got a BMA. It's a BMA, Bible mental attitude. Wow. And the Bible mental attitude is whether or not God thinks I can, he's right. Yeah. So first of all, I want everybody to know, I didn't call myself Dr. Breakthrough, right? I was speaking with Dr. Willie Jolly, one of the top five speakers in the world oh, yeah. at Howard University. He said, Dr. Stan, he said, I know you got a, a, a doctor divinity degree in, in, you know, in, in divinity, and you got a PhD in martial arts, a few credits away from doctor of naturopath, but branding's everything. He said, you have more, had more breakthroughs than anybody I know. You explain it better. You need to be doctor breakthrough. It's like somebody goes to a doctor. They go to you, you get a prescription. I yeah. said, well, I don't know if that's true. I'll live the rest of my life to make sure it is. So yeah. I tell people, it's doctor breakthrough. I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. But when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God Almighty provides the breakthrough they desire and deserve. And the breakthrough is exploding through barriers that one time seemed insurmountable. But here's the thing I got to tell you. As I travel, spoke in all 50 states, 28 countries, I can tell you, my friend, the biggest thing that God taught me that changed my life forever is most people that want a breakthrough, that deserve a breakthrough, will never get it because of one main reason. Would mm. you like to know why? Yes. Because they focus on what they want to break through. Wow. I was like, what? Wow. Yeah, see, watch this. You don't, see, when you focus on break, get, breaking through debt, you just get, see, what you focus on the longest becomes the strongest. Yeah. What you talk about the longest becomes the strongest. Yeah. So watch this. Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despised, and the shame. What did he do? He was so focused on breaking to glory, he broke through anything in between. So when I do my presentations and I stack up like 22 inches of bricks, I never focus on breaking the bricks. I focus on getting my hand three inches below the bricks. And when I focus on, watch this, breaking to that spot, anything that gets between where I am and where I'm going gets broken. That's the, well, so. Uh, <laughs> so it's break two time. So that's the secret. I've always wanted to know how you could go through that. It, it almost seems effortless, and I know it's not. Right. So you're not focusing on the, the, that first brick your mind is not on how am I going to get through the next two bricks, right? You're not thinking about how am I going to get through another night with the spouse I can't stand. You're not thinking about how am I going to survive the week at work. I'm not, how am I going to pay my mortgage and, and the car, car note? You're not thinking about the brick and the brick and the brick. You're thinking about say, the brick. To, to break to. See, would you, when you focus on what you're breaking to, then you automatically get a breakthrough. So here's the thing. People say, well, I'm going to break out of debt. No, you're going to stay in debt. By the way, if you ever got debt free, that's still zero. You wow. want to break yeah. to financial freedom. Okay, good. As you focus on breaking to financial freedom, you break through debt. Wow. As you focus on breaking to ultimate health, you break through bad health. When you focus on breaking to a great relationship, you break through a bad marriage. Wow. And that's why I have my 21 day breakthrough challenge. Watch this. I've taken 43 years of my best preaching and teaching and thought process on breakthrough. I've distilled it. I've boiled it down to 21 simple tips. Wow. By the way, tips, T-I-P-S, yep. yep. to ensure prompt Proper. success. <laughs> Watch this. Most <laughs> folks are on the way to success. They've taken too long. <laughs> I want to take you from the Greyhound bus of success and put you on the jet. So watch this. Here's the most powerful statement I know. Every master was at once a mess. Therefore, every mess can one day be a master. And when a mess becomes a master, you got a message. If you market to the masses, you can make millions. Oh, come on, somebody. And so here's what I'm saying. You need to take my 21-day breakthrough challenge. I've got a special website where okay. people can go. But my 21-day break, folks have been having miracles. And right now what I've been doing, this is crazy, I know. But I decided, I asked people this. Have you ever fasted 21 days for your breakthrough? And most people say no. Well, what if I was willing to fast 21 days for your breakthrough? Mm. So what I did, matter of fact, right now, we got a group of people going through the 21-day breakthrough challenge. And for 21 days, I will not put one solid food to my mouth, just water and juice. And every morning, several hours for the 
sun comes up, I'm fasting and praying for their breakthrough. Wow. And when my body cries out for food, I'm like, God, just like Jesus sacrificed for me, I'm crying out for their breakthrough, Lord. And so I'm, we've been having miracles happening. Wow. And so I need everybody. By the way, can wow. I give them the website? Please. It's 21 days to your breakthrough.com. Wow. And by the way, my other book here, Position to Prosper, Eight Gold Nuggets to Ensure Your Prosperity. Wow. You know, the first time I was born, I was born to a poor family. The second time I was born again into a rich family, but the problem is I bought my same poor mind into that rich, so I couldn't access those riches. Mm. And so I teach people a concept called consumerpreneur. Now, what's a consumerpreneur? That's a great question. It's a group of committed individuals who consume products and utilize services, but this time with the intent of producing a profit. Wow. See, television has made us consumers. And watch this, so people are consuming. But if we can do it as one big, what I call success line, one big group, and so we can do it together. That's one of the things I wanna do. I wanna mentor people and help people along the way. And so we've been instrumental in helping several people to make millions of dollars for the kingdom, wow. right? It's for the kingdom. So if I were to summarize, which would take me all day, <laughs> to summarize who you are. By the way, are. my wife's favorite phrase is, baby, just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to summarize who you are, uh, it would take all day. But it seems apparent to me, clear, crystal clear to me, that you are first focused on helping people achieve what you have achieved. Yes. And you're doing that by helping them understand how to think like you think. Did I get that right? Yes. So by helping them understand to, how, how to think like you think, you're really helping them understand how God thinks. Exactly. Now that's where we're going. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. God has used you as a pathway to bring his truth to people who need to hear it. Mm. Is it safe to conclude then that, because I'm now, I'm now thinking about you, your, your break too. Right. It's not even about your circumstance, your situation. It's not even about you. It's about who God is trying to push blessing through. Mm. So you're really building a, a, an army of people right. who by evidence of the life that they're living can say to the world that's hurting, that's struggling, that is seeking to know the truth, if I can do it, come on, you can do it. The people who get their hands on the material, to get the books right. and practice it, are they seeing results? Yes, they're seeing tremendous results. Matter of fact, my lovely wife herself, I call her my ABCD, by the way, adorable brown caramel delight. She said, baby, <laughs> she said, she said, baby, but she's like, I can't tell you how much my life has been changed. I've, I see the change in you, you're constantly changing. But she said, I'm practicing these principles. My children's lives have been changed, but thousands of people across the world. As a matter of fact, my friend, when people take this 21 day breakthrough challenge, I, just, I promise them they'll get one or more breakthroughs in 21 days or less. People can call in, listen to a message, and they can say, I want to be part of this thing, and I want you to mentor me to make sure I get the results. Wow. Okay? So the number is simple, 818-672-7681. Just dial that number, 818-672-7681, and check out again, 21 days to your breakthrough.com. Call the number, visit the website, get involved. I want to train you. I want to, you need to take the 21-day breakthrough challenge not for me, but for what you can get. And by the way, I give 18 different arenas people can experience a breakthrough. 18 different, I've never heard anybody do that before. And people are getting breakthroughs in all these different arenas, my friend. So wow. I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for you, because you're the brother like no other. <laughs> you the master disaster can't say it no faster. You too strong to be weak, too sweet to be sour. You can't take credit as all God's power. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Stan, Dr. Breakthrough, I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you, and I know that the viewers have been blessed by you. Pick can, up I, can I tell them, I love yeah. you, by the way. I love you. You're looking at a guy that hated everybody because I thought I was hated. <laughs> but because of the love of Jesus Christ, <laughs> I can't help but love you. <laughs> you, my brother from another mother. <laughs> Listen, we're going to wrap up because when we hang up, <laughs> he's going to teach me how to bend this thing back. <laughs> so uh, bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's program. I want to encourage you to... Uh, to just take a minute and, uh, and, and, and reach out. Our communicators are standing by. We got two books for you. I'm gonna put them together in a bundle uh, that I want you to get your hands on. You're gonna, you're gonna understand how to break through anything in your way and break to 
tonight, right? Break to uh, the place that God wants you to be. We're not getting out of debt. We're getting to more, the place we're supposed to be, which is more, amen, more so than enough. Overflow. <laughs> yes, sir. Because we, are, we have been blessed to be a blessing, amen? Uh, so, hey, I'll see you next time. Damon Davis, one-on-one. -on -one. We're out. See you. Are you feeling stuck? Are you no longer passionate about your current profession? Do your relationships feel broken or stagnant? Do you feel like your mental, emotional, or spiritual life is falling apart? If you're feeling unproductive, blocked, or confined by your current situation, then it's time to consult with the doctor. Dr. Breakthrough. Stan Harris, also known as Dr. Breakthrough, is a life coach and business trainer on a mission to help you overcome the everyday issues that may have you trapped in mediocrity. In his instructional bestseller, Your Breakthrough is Guaranteed. Dr. Harris uses time-tested techniques to show you how to expand your mind and stretch your thinking to free you from the restraints of your past and the obstacles in your environment. Experience life at a whole new level. Get rid of all your excuses and let Dr. Breakthrough give you the success you desire and deserve. This easy to read book will guide you step by step through his proven formula for breakthrough success. And for a limited time only, to ensure you'll get the complete understanding of the principles outlined in his book, Dr. Breakthrough will also provide you a personal DVD teaching session, which will even more simply explain the plan for your success. That's right, you'll get your own motivational video that will help inspire and coach you along your journey to greatness. But it doesn't stop there. Dr. Breakthrough, along with his wife Nadia, want to also bless you with their insightful book, Position to Prosper, Eight Golden Nuggets to Ensure Your Prosperity. You'll learn the eight universal principles that will work without failure to position you to receive the blessings God has waiting for you. Find out how to put your heart, soul, and mind in the right space to receive God's anointing on your work, your family, and so much more. That's two books. Your breakthrough is guaranteed and Position to Prosper, along with the personal DVD teaching, all for your love gift of just $49.95. Learn how to break through the barriers of bad health, lack of money, ego, procrastination, and so much more. With this bundle, no obstacle will stand in the path that God has prepared for you ever again. But wait, that's still not all. Damon wants to also bless you with an uncut DVD of today's inspiring one-on-one -on -one interview to provide extra insights and inspiration that will propel you into even greater understanding of the success you can achieve right now. All this can be yours. The best-selling books, your breakthrough is guaranteed, and Positions to Prosper, your very own motivational DVD teaching, and the uncut unlimited DVD version of today's interview all for your small love gift of only 49.95 call now operators are standing by